Welcome to this video on solving a system of equations by addition. Let's read the problem. It says to solve the system by the addition method. And the first equation is 4x equals 36 plus 8y. Second equation is 3x minus 6y equals 27. Now if you see the addition method, there's another way that that might be written. It might be uh, it might say the elimination method. The elimination method and the addition method are one and the same. And sometimes they use both words, elimination and addition. There are three methods. One is the graphing method, the, then there's substitution, and finally the elimination method. And it, sometimes it's helpful to see by, uh, let's graph, say, uh, two lines and see what types of solutions we might get. So you can see better with the graphing method. Let's say we have two lines. And what's one possibility? Well, they could intersect in a point, cross in a single point here. And then the solution would be the point that's in common to both lines. In this case, it looks like it's about 2, 3. So that, that's one possibility. And when, when we're doing the elimination or the addition method, as we're solving, we'll get something like x equals 2 and then go back and, and then find out what y is. Or we might, when we do our elimination, we might end up with something like y equals 3. So that's what it, our uh, answers will look like when we're doing the elimination method or the addition method. A second possibility is that our two lines do not cross at all, that they're parallel to each other and never cross. Therefore, they wouldn't have a solution. And when you do the elimination method, you're going to get something strange. The x and the y's will be eliminated, and you end up with something like 3 equals 0, something that's not true. If that happens, oops, then we have the case where there is no solution. And it would be the case like we've shown here where the two lines are parallel to each other. There is one other possibility. And what is that? Well, let's say you have one line. And then the other line is right on top of it. They're one and the same, really. One line and then the second line is right over it. You can see in this case we're going to have an infinite number of solutions. But what happens when you do the elimination method? you'll get something that's true. You'll get something like 0 equals 0. Your variables will be gone, but you'll have a, a true statement, 0 equals 0. And when that happens, you then there are an infinite number of solutions. And when I say infinite number of solutions, that means that there's an infinite number of points where these two lines are in common. But it doesn't mean that if I have a point out here somewhere that that's a solution. That is not on those two lines. So it's not every point, but there are an infinite number of solutions. Okay, well let's go ahead and work this out by the addition method. So you may already know how to do this. In order to compare our answers, why don't we put the first one in standard form and multiply the first one by 3 and we'll do the addition method. Go ahead and put it on pause and see what you get. Welcome back. I get 0 equals 0. If you got that, very good. Move on to the next part. If not, let's go through each step here in detail. I'm going to put that first equation in standard form by moving the, the y variable over to the left side. So I'll have 4x minus 8y, I'm subtracting 8y from both sides, equals 36. And the second equation is already in standard form, so I'm just going to rewrite that second equation. And we want to eliminate either the x, x's or the y's. I've chosen to eliminate the x's and I've suggested that we multiply that first equation by 3. So let's do that. 
that'll give us 12x and what would we need so that the x's when we add them will disappear well we need a negative 12 and the way to get that is to multiply by negative 4 so we want to multiply 3 by through every single part of that first equation so 3 times 4x is 12x 3 times negative 8y is negative 24y and let's see 3 times 36 3 times 6 is 18 carry the 1 9 108 okay for the second equation we're going to multiply everything by negative 4 and we get negative 4 times 3 is negative 12x negative 4 times a negative 6 is positive 24y and negative 4 times a positive 27 I think we get yes we get a negative 108 aha and so when we add these two together we get 0 plus let's see negative 24y plus 24y is 0 equals 0 and 0 plus 0 is 0 so sure enough we get 0 equals 0 so this is the case where we must have an infinite number of solutions so infinite number of solutions if you're in introductory or intermediate algebra usually this is a sufficient answer just to write down that you will get an infinite number of solutions however sometimes they would like you to write a little more than this down especially if you're in college algebra or pre-calculus and so one way that you can indicate your answer is by uh, putting it in set notation and we'll just put the ordered pair x y then such that and we don't want every single possible value for x and y but it has to work for our equations so it, we'll just write such that and then it was uh, let's see what was our first equation and you could pick either one 4x equals 36 plus 8y that's one way to write the solution another way and there's even more than these two ways that we're going to write down another way is to write that ordered pair again x y and then the such that such that sign in there that vertical bar and then I'm just going to write down this the other equation instead of the first one it doesn't matter which equation you write down and these are two other ways or two ways rather to show your answer okay so the key here is if you end up with something like 0 equals 0 then you have the case where there was an infinite number of solutions it's the case where the lines are, are dependent is what they actually are there one is right on top of the other one hope that helps see ya